Hi guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. Here today with a video that was a video inspiration. I had seen uh, my gorgeous friend Linda do this uh, type of video, but I found it so much more informative than just a general collection video. She had done her luxury brand wallet collection and then done like a mini review on each wallet and how it works for her lifestyle. And I was like, that's really, like it really inspired me, mainly because I had been lusting after a particular wallet and she has it. So let's get straight into this because it's it may be quite long because I've got some other options at the end and I want to show you those as well. At this point in time, I have four luxury wallets. I own four luxury wallets. Three, ah, <laughs> three being from Louis Vuitton and uh, one slash two, even though I call this a bag, but it's a wallet on chain technically in their eyes, Chanel a Bois, uh, two from Chanel. Okay, I will start in the order that I acquired these wallets. I can actually remember, which is good. Uh, the first wallet I purchased ever, and it was the first Damier Ibin canvas print I ever purchased, was this beautiful wallet. It is not in use at the moment, but you may all know it. It was my one wallet tag, the tag created by my lovely friend Tanya. And it's, yeah, my holy grail wallet. I've talked about this before in current videos that I did a review on this, a thorough review, like really thorough. I will link it below where I show, you know, all the bells and whistles. Uh, but when I'm saying I'm gonna do a mini review today, I'm just gonna go over what I feel benefits my lifestyle and maybe what will benefit your lifestyle. So this is the now original Zippy Compact Wallet. It is not the Zippy, the Zippy is longer, the Zippy Wallet, and it is an all-around zipper and it's an accordion style. So when you open it, there's a gusset in the side. When I say the older model, <laughs> because now Louis Vuitton have redesigned this wallet with gussets. Again, I'm not quite sure why they did that because this original design is in fact a flat lay and that was one of the, sorry, fly. That was one of the most uh, sought after, um, probably just design wise, most amazing thing about this original Zippy Compact wallet. For unisex, you know, both genders, it's, you know, it's gender neutral, a functionality and everything. For a flat lay wallet, it just is truthfully the best wallet. It really, really is. Every time I downsize or I'm in another wallet, when I come back to this, I'm like, ah. Oh, all my cards can fit in it. Everything can go in here. So it's fantastic. 10 card slots with an additional front return uh, here, which I guess you can put most used card or ID. I do, in fact, have it hot stamped, JC, my initials. It says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. It's got a compartment return here, which is kind of like a checkbook. It's got a compartment on that side. It's got a compartment on that side. It has a large bill compartment at the back if you'd like to keep your bills not folded. This is totally a design for you. And then cheekily on the side, it has a compartment behind the zipper pocket and then a very convenient zipper pocket as well. Uh, being the first wallet I ever got, I was mad in love with it, but I truly just could not get over the zipper. It is so smooth. They all, both zippers in this wallet are so smooth and well made. I haven't had to have any repair on this wallet, such as glazing or any, you know, um, interior sort of damage or zippers or whatnot like that. And it has just been a joy, an absolute joy 
to have. It too, like some of their bigger wallets, their long wallets, Louis Vuitton are renowned for the fact that you can have your cards and your cash and maybe you don't need your keys <laughs> for the night and put your phone, this is an iPhone 6, I think it does even house an iPhone 6 Plus just due to the height you can see there and like you know the Insulate wallet and the Sarah and the Emily uh, and Josephine you can put your phone in it and just go out like that like a clutch if you don't have a secondary clutch. When I did do my quality review video on Louis Vuitton and uh, and sort of went over how you know the older pieces would it just made better in my opinion because that's all it was just Jerusha's a penny. Okay found it located. Uh, <laughs> It was made on, oh wow, the 11th week of 2011 and it has just held up an absolute treat, an absolute treat. I feel like the quality and the craftsmanship in this piece is just, it's there, it's strong, it's amazing. If you are looking for this wallet, I'm pretty sure you'll find it pre-loved on the resale market. Uh, if not, you can always call around your boutiques and see if they have a few stray laying around in the flat lay as opposed to the accordion style. But this is my beloved Damier Ibin Zippy Compact Wallet from Louis Vuitton. It's so funny, I actually can't believe that this is second, but it is. And I remember, I think if I watch back my videos, I was saying, I want another Louis Vuitton wallet. A long wallet, similar to the Zippy Compact. And I ended up exchanging... What did I exchange? Oh man, I should watch my videos back. I think I exchanged like a bag charm or something at Louis Vuitton Westwood Bondo Junction with Nism, who was my essay at the time, for this beautiful wallet. And this wallet is honestly definitely a reason I would be considering the Josephine because these wallets are just so user-friendly. This is the Louis Vuitton Emily wallet in monogram with rouge interior, rouge lining, and the rouge red button uh, on the front there. I too keep this stuff with a bit of bubble wrap. And this wallet has just proven to be such a great companion for me. I now know what people say by easy access to just flip and get a quick peek at your cards as opposed to say an insulate wallet which you know you have to unbutton or whatever and I know that seems ridiculous because it's like two more seconds but I can see how that is now. Like people love Sarah's, the layout of a Sarah and the layout of a Josephine. <laughs> so this is from that uh, sort of original returned line, the Emily and the Josephine uh, paired together. And uh, at the time, this wasn't my second wallet actually. The Marie wallet was my second wallet, which was, I'll throw a picture in here. So if you want to look for a thinner, sort of more pliable, more manual, malleable wallet, the Emily and the Josephine, that line, just it just is. It's fantastic. So the convenience is definitely my number one thing. So we have four most used card slots here in the front. You get a zipper compartment here. Yes, I put coins in this wallet. It doesn't phase me now. I think in the beginning I was a little bit worried, but now I don't mind. It has the ever so dainty and cute uh, zipper pull which is just the two leather tabs. I haven't had any problem with color wear on this. I've seen people say the colors worn and it's and or sort of split and chipped. I haven't had that. I tend to always tuck it back in before I close it. And then behind it you have the big body compartment and then they have the monogram lined compartment here which I heard that's changed as well. Now look the designs in all these models have changed slightly from when I got mine. Uh, and then, so that compartment houses extra cards for me. And then in this line, which is kind of the most famous thing, is these big back long pockets that go 
all the way down to the bottom of the wallet. So yes, like I just showed you, we can put the iPhone 6 in the back here. Make sure that's nice and straight in there. And we can use this as, you know, a clutch or if you're running sort of through the airport per se and you wanted to, you know, take your cards and cash and, hang on one second, and your passport. You, where did that miraculously come from? You can pop it in there and you can do it up and you can sort of run around with everything in there. And that's what makes these long wallets from Louis Vuitton so, so darn handy. Okay, so this Emily was made on the 30th week of 2013. Uh, unlike, I would say, the Zippy Compact, this was the first sort of line that Vuitton had bought out that was a little bit more... How are you going? Starting that softer canvas and maybe it had, you know, more wear and tear and quality issues because of the buttons. I do know that a lot of people, you know, don't buy these lines with the coloured buttons. I do know now that, you know, Rose Ballerine has just been really taking off and is amazing. But the wear on the buttons at the front, because obviously you use it a tonne, is just too much you know they dirt they scratch up and whatnot so again definitely a mage fave wallet and definitely why it stayed in my collection of wallets the emily wallet by louis vuitton okay i swear this is next but clearly i look maybe i'm not trustworthy because i totally forgot my marie wallet <laughs> but i think this is next I, yeah, I think it is next. This is my one and only wallet wallet. Not a wok, a wallet wallet. It comes in this absolutely beautiful, uh, like, velour dust bag. Just so plush and luxe. This is the wallet I am currently carrying. It is classified not as a wallet. My beautiful friend Mel, Mel May, worked out what it was called when she purchased it from Westfield Bondo Junction Chanel. Uh, it is classified as a coin purse. So the Chanel quilt, diamond quilted coin purse. This is in caviar leather with silver hardware. I picked this up from the Canton Road Chanel in Hong Kong for my 30th birthday. My husband got it for me. I was looking for the just regular card case. I'm sure if you watched that video, you would have heard me say, and then the sales associate showed me this beautiful wallet, and I was just absolutely perplexed, really. I was like, I don't know which one to go for. I was in here for the card case, and she's like, this is much better. And I was like, you are right. It is the, as I just said, the wallet I'm currently using. I do have it quite stuffed, but again, I'm really obsessed with that kind of bulky padded feeling, I think, because of how obsessed I am with the Chevron. I settled on the silver, obviously, because I wanted this wallet, but because also, at the same time, I knew this guy was coming along. That is my Chanel La Boy bag. Shout out to my gorgeous Ash. She just got her first Chanel Boy bag too. And it is amazing in the new medium with the boy double stitch quilting. It's so masculine and just gorgeous. And uh, so shout out and congratulations, congratulations to you, babe, and happy birthday. So just showing you it up close, it is such a cute downsized wallet. Yes, it is, you know, meant for uh, like a coin purse. That's fine. I do use it as a mini wallet, mainly because I can compartmentalize really easy with it. I put points cards in the back here and then I put all bank cards in the front and then in between it I fold and slip cash. I don't have a problem with that. It doesn't phase me to fold cash mainly because in my Zippy Compact wallet I folded cash as well and then I always keep my driver's license in the front zip, um, compartment here and yeah that works a treat. On the back I do use the iconic little uh, pocket back here. I put valet stubs and whatnot in it. 
uh, to just and like you know parking tickets I put them in there so I really get full full use out of this wallet the wear on it is amazing because it is caviar leather the glazing is quite minimal so I don't sort of feel like it's more that it's double seamed as opposed to glazed like Vuitton's pieces are sort of glazed all around here and opening and closing these flaps wears so that's really good for wear and tear. I mean, you just can't go past size wise with a wallet like this. If it holds everything you need, you can't go past it. It's just so user friendly. So this is my Chanel coin purse and caviar leather with silver hardware, which I love. Okie doke, if we are going in order of acquisition, I can tell you the next wallet No, I got it after. Oh, this is trying, this is trying. I got this first, yes, yes. The next wallet acquired, did I? Man, I need to watch my videos. Well, okay, it was either this or the Eugenie wallet. I think it was this. The next wallet that I did acquire was from Louis Vuitton off the uh, uh, resale market. It comes in this dust bag and it is the zippy coin purse in monogram multicolor blanc which is the white and then then i think i purchased my eugenie wallet in the monogram multicolor in the noir which is the black that i have in turn sold yes did i i don't know man i'm confused Either way, this is my Zippy coin purse. OMG, if you have been thinking about a Zippy coin purse, go into the boutique, try it out if you can get to a boutique. They are amazing. I truthfully did not think it was gonna suit my lifestyle. It blew me away. It is so cute with the all around zipper, just like the Zippy compact wallet. And uh, it's just so user friendly. I uh, maybe that's because mine was from the resale market, so it was a little bit sort of used and uh, not stretched out. But the card slots weren't too hard to get in and out of. You have more than enough compartments. Two hidden ones on the back here. Uh, two here, which you can double up cards. Big compartments here for cash or coins. And then you can definitely fit two or, you know, one card in the middle. A zippy coin purse, wow. For a downsizer, I love this. The downside to monogram multicolor white is this beautiful zipper. Just like Azure. Uh, Azure is kind of a cream. Uh, the actual stitching, the woven part of the zipper is kind of a cream. So it may hide uh, dirt a bit better. This one is bright white, so dirt really shows up in it. So handy dandy. I can stuff this, I can stuff this a lot more than I can stuff the Chanel wallet. And it works a dream. So that is my uh, Louis Vuitton Zippy coin purse in monogram multicolor white. Then I think I got my Eugenie wallet in monogram multicolor black. With the big buckle i'll throw a picture in here the big buckle on the front it ended up not working for my lifestyle because it just ended up being too cumbersome i would have probably preferred a sarah wallet if i was going to go for a more cumbersome wallet in general it just became quite large this is my last wallet i don't classify this as a wallet yes it can be used as a wallet but my god Pick the chain, swing it around and beat someone over the head and it's a weapon. I'm sure some girls do put it down inside their bags, but geez, that's big. As a clutch, so cute. Totally agree. But as a wallet in a bag, wow. Yeah, that would just be too big. But nevertheless, Chanel classified as an SLG. I think a lot of us in the luxury community don't. We classify it as a bag uh, because of the way I guess we can downsize and compartmentalize it comes with the chain hence wallet on chain <laughs> and 
The reason it makes it such a, a wallet style is because it has its internal six card slots there and I guess use for coins in a zip compartment there and many different little compartments inside. Uh, but that, if we're gonna say wallets, well, that was my last official wallet that I purchased from Chanel. Okay, I've got to push it along here because I'm losing light. And by light, I mean sun. We're working with sun and one light box at this, this afternoon. I cannot speak. These are my versions of a wallet. So, if you aren't in the financial market to purchase a luxury brand full-size wallet, and, you know, they're pretty pricey. I think Louis Vuitton has, you know, upped its price a lot with SLGs to compete with people like Chanel and Hermes uh, because their wallets are far much, far more expensive, far more expensive. So, uh, if you can't, if you're not in the budget for that, here is my pick for what I use as a downsize version-ish of a possible wallet. So first would be probably a really popular version of a wallet. It does not have card slots, but I've seen many girls and many friends use this. This is the Louis Vuitton po mini pochette in Damier Ibin canvas. It is absolutely gorgeous. I've done a review on this before. If I can find it <laughs> in my history, I will link it below. It's gorgeous. It is just the happiest little item and putting things in it really works well that is why it can kind of be a wallet so cards coins cash you can also fit your keys say you know say they're not on an actual clay or another card holder you can fit them all in people combined a lot in their mini pochettes and put them down inside bags so this guy if you're looking for like a mini pouch, a mini wallet, <laughs> this is really, really good option. Plus, I also list this as a starter piece for Louis Vuitton, mainly because you get a full array of canvases and prints and it's just so darn cute. It is so dainty, it is so beautiful and it's useful. So that would be my first pick for an extra wallet. My second piece, sticking with Damier Bin, because I'm having a Bin moment, okay, people? I just, I love it. And I go in and out of my canvases, not saying I don't like them, but I just get drawn towards one more than the other sometimes. The clay. Of course, the clay is a version of a wallet that you could use. You can fit, you know, many, many cards in here. Plastic cards, I'm not quite sure. I want to say up near... 10 to 15 uh, business cards. I've had like 25 in there before. Obviously coins. You can strap your keys onto the outside. And there, it, there you go. You, your little wallet or your necessities in one item and totally a starter piece. The main starter piece that most of us say here on the luxury community on YouTube is we say a clay from Louis Vuitton. Speaking of clays, this is the multi clay. This is the six key ring multi clay clay. This is my second purchase of it from Louis Vuitton. It's the monogram canvas with the fuchsia interior, the new darker fuchsia. I have it currently a bit of bubble wrap. Uh, so it is technically a multi clay to hold multi keys, clay meaning key, so multi key holder. However, people putting a few keys on here, there is a small return here, a, a compartment behind. And this is what people find the best thing about this, hence the reason I repurchased it. I did own it in Dami Ibin canvas and thought it was too difficult for my lifestyle. Uh, then I picked it up, picked it up again in this uh, monogram canvas because I missed how user friendly it was to slot some cards back here, do it up, and take your keys and most used cards with you. This can definitely be a downsized mini sort of uh, essentials wallet ish, <laughs> if if you would wish to, definitely. And again, in a great price bracket with a clay. 
while we stick with clays this is my vernier clay i showed it in one of my last videos it is bigger than the original clay that is why i'm showing it separately because the vernier is bigger the epi is bigger and the emperant is a lot bigger with a flap these can be used easily as mini wallets easily and if your budget allows they are a great investment as a wallet it's pitch black down there <laughs> but but it, but it has a great space there the mouth opens really wide you have one slip pocket on the back which is really handy to just put most used cards in if you wanted to put cash and coins in here you can always attach keys as well so oh, just clays guys clays this is an interesting one again shout out to my gorgeous friend tanya she reviewed this as a mini wallet and i have to totally agree i think there was one stage where i just i don't know i couldn't take everything with me and this oh, look how dark it's gotten in here sorry guys this is my agenda pm from louis vuitton in damien's your canvas it has gotten so beat up now that i have my new camera i shall show you it comes with three credit card slots on the side here which i have well doubled up this is plastic card this is paper card these are paper cards there's like three other cards in there with with those cards there's a return here and you can pack this in with cards you obviously have your diary agenda portion and then you have another return on the back for extra cards uh, but i definitely think like at one stage i was using this as a wallet honestly now that i have this camera a little bit better quality camera you can just see my wear and tear here i did do a wear and tear on damier as your video but I just it was with my old camera it didn't really show up very well but you can just see the dirt on the spine here the whole bottom is just opened up on the glazing I could totally get it reglazed but do you know what we can't be bothered another option for a downsize and the reason I had my passports was a, a passport case this is my new mon monogram passport case if you saw me unbox this I did tell you that I was literally blown away and got like the biggest tingle ever <laughs> from this item and had that I hadn't had for a while um, from Louis Vuitton. It just blew me away to see my initials and whatnot. It just it was amazing. So you have a return down the bottom. You have three card slots here, and obviously passport, passport can go in, uh, passport can go in this return, and then passport can go in this compartment. If you didn't want to use it for passports and you wanted to use it as a wallet, uh, you know, again, uh, unisex, again, uh, gender neutral, you totally can. Take them out, whack bills and extra cards in here, or bills and receipts in here, flat laying down, and then extra ones in here. And then you've just got like a case, a case type wallet to just run around with. So handy. Man, my light is gone. Gone. We are almost in pitch black here. How crazy. Next, next up, I will do this. This has to be a great investment if you're in that sort of financial bracket to do your first or second or third purchase from Baton as a wallet. Mainly, it can't hold cards, it can't hold actual credit cards. Let's just do a demonstration of that, shall we? It can't, it can't hold a plastic credit card, obviously, because it is round. So that's not going to work, downsizing a wallet that way. But because it is the round coin purse and it can get absolutely loaded with coins, adding flat cash, if you have bills, folding them up twice it can just fold up perfectly maybe you have one key for your house or your apartment and it can go in there and you can just grab it and run honestly I was just getting milk and if the paper and a few things the other day I ran down I didn't run I waddled thanks Jills I waddled down to the shops <laughs> And I had my car key, like from where I parked, I put extra bills and I had my coins and I ran down, waddled down to the shops with just that and that is all I needed and it was fabulous. 
this. Another cool thing about this beautiful Port Monero round coin purse from Louis Vuitton is I did purchase the Dragon uh, wristlet strap just in pure um, the uh, the natural cowhide leather uh, and just one iconic Louis Vuitton hook there. I did purchase this separately and you can whack it on to a few of these smaller type wallets. What else have I got? My zippy coin purse, you can whack this on and have it as a little wristlet. So darn handy, so cute and it makes it so easy to just run around and do your errands like that and make it a far, um, you know, more usable accessory uh, as a wallet, I guess. So that is so cute. I did not intend on doing this in order, but the last downsized version of a wallet, and I've seen so many people shout out to my beautiful Karis, uh, have this as just, just a go-to wallet, or even, Inside their wallets, they have this slipped. But what Karis, oh look, it matches. What Karis does is put, you know, she showed me that she puts the card case down inside a wallet, and then that way, or her extra cards are in her wallet. What she needs to just take out to the shops, she grabs her card case and uses it. This is my brand new Chanel. Chevron collection from the Cruise collection in caviar leather with silver hardware. It is so beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I can now understand why people rave about this item. I have business cards here, I have a swipe key there. It is so gorgeous. It makes me happy every time I see it. And it just, I can see how it's just a grab and go situation and it's really, really handy as uh, another little compartment wallet type thing. I have come to the end. I hope that gives you lots of different examples and is a clear sort of display of possible wallets and you saw my main wallet collection. I do really have my eye on the Louis Vuitton Josephine. I just do. The Emily works so well for me and I just think another long wallet would be nice. And the only thing is with a Josephine, they don't have the metal button anymore in the boutique. I even called Serena. They don't have any of those left. They're all the uh, um, painted interior button color, sorry, uh, interior lining color, and I don't want to go for that, simply because of the wear and tear. I want to have a metal button. So I am going to look on the uh, resale market and see what we can maybe find. <laughs> but yeah, lusting hard over Josephine. It's just what's happening. I can't, like, I just can't help myself. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, guys. Thank you to gorgeous Linda for doing this and giving me the idea to do it. If you want to do this video, uh, please go ahead and do it. I would love to see your wallet collections. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so, that would be really great, guys. I will see you in my next video. Take care. Peace. I can't